Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create the fisheye effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is very helpful if you don't have the lens filter and you're trying to create this effect for a music video or something else. This effect is making a comeback. It was very popular back in the day in a lot of rap music videos that you may have seen directed by Hype Williams. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here we got Harry Styles last music video, you know, because, and we're basically gonna just apply the effect to this. So the first thing you're gonna do is search up lens distortion. So you're gonna see a bunch of them, but you wanna scroll all the way down and it'll be under video effects distort lens distortion. Drag it onto the clip and you want to just adjust the curvature. You'll see what it does. And if you wanna adjust more than 100, right now it just lets you go up to 100. All you wanna do is right click, press nest, then apply the effect again and then do it again. Or else you wouldn't be able to curve it more in case you wanted to apply a greater effect. So let's just say we have this, right? Now we wanna scale it in a little bit until there's no white background. And we're done the distortion part of it now. Unless you want to, of course, add more distortion. Right now I'm just gonna keep it the same. Now you want to go to opacity, press on the create ellipse mask, and you want to bring these points to the side to the edges and you want to sort of make sure that they're at the same position on each side. So I'm just going to bring it all the way to the edge. So right now we have this, right? This is essentially what is the effect. I'm going to show you a little different frames in the video. It doesn't look that distorted though. So you could probably um, add more distortion. And the last final thing you want to do is increase the mask feather. And the reason why is because if you actually had a real lens filter on, the edges would not be this exact right it would not be this straight so you want to sort of mimic the organic part of it this effect would probably work better if it was like just one person in the frame or something like that because you can see the distortion more like right now you can't really see the distortion it looks kind of flat so i'm actually gonna delete the mask i'm gonna add more curvature so i can show you guys what that would look like a little bit more realistic i can't actually play the video or i might get like taken out for copyright or something but you guys can see the individual frames so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. I make a bunch of different tutorials like this all the time. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.